second law of thermodynamics uh, first we'll begin by the limitations of the first law first law you know is q is equal to delta u plus w uh, basically these are the limitations of the first law it simply states the conversion it does not state the conditions under, under which those conversions can happen so it um, simply says that the and there is a relationship between heat energy internal energy and work done and this the, these energies are conserved but it doesn't state under what conditions uh, this change will happen it does not differentiate between heat and work it treats both heat and work as the same and lastly it does not indicate the direction of heat flow it doesn't say where an object will lose heat or gain heat it empty simply says that the total heat transfer or total transfer of energy would remain constant let us look at second law the two statement kelvin planck statement and clausius statement the kelvin planck statement is based on heat engine and the clausius statement is based on the refrigerator the second this the statement kelvin planck statement says it is impossible to convert all the heat extracted from a hot body into work so in case of a heat engine there is a source heat is extracted from the source q1 heat is extracted amount of work done is w and q2 heat is rejected to the sink so it's not possible to take this entire heat q1 and convert it into work such that q2 is zero it's not possible to have q2 as zero entire q1 cannot be converted into work which is second law of thermodynamics and it also helps us understand the working of a heat engine and the efficiency of a heat engine would be given by work done upon q1 because objective of this is to do work so that is the output energy the input energy is q1 so w upon q1 and as you can see over here q, w is equal to q1 minus q2 because total heat energy is q1 part of it is used for do work part of part of it is rejected to the same so w would be q1 minus q2 and that would give us this equation 1 minus q2 upon q1 and the ratio of q2 upon q1 turns out to be t2 upon t1 and thus we get this equation efficiency is 1 minus t2 upon t1 where t2 is the temperature of the sink and t1 is the temperature of the source in a similar fashion we can look at the clausius statement and that depends upon the that uh, is based on the refrigerator in case of a refrigerator you want to extract heat from a cold body and pass it on to the hot body now that is not possible unless we do external work so you have this cold body let us say the refrigerator from which we want to extract heat and transfer it to this atmospheric surroundings which is a high temperature for that work has to be done by the compressor so q2 heat is extracted with the help of work w and given out to the surroundings and the statement is it is impossible to transfer heat from a cold body 